extreme close-ups are extreme. Guys, what's up? Welcome back to Until Dawn with Dude Long Couch. Last time we made friends with the dog wolf guy. I really wish I could convince him to come with me because I am thoroughly creeped out. I don't like this place. I'm just going to go out and uh, I'm going to say it. I'm going to put it out there for everyone to know. This place sucks. But we got to keep going. We have no choice. Really? This is the this is the first resort. We're just going to shoot this lock off. That is such a waste of ammunition. There's a million different things you could have tried before we went straight to that. Oh well. I feel like we've actually been doing this for a while. Wonder if we might be getting to the end of this segment pretty soon here. Okay, hold on a second. Don't think there's anything back here, but... Best to be sure. No. I'm trying to go around. It was like an invisible redirection wall on the right side there. Game just had other ideas. Oh, here's something. Mine rescue photo, the Miracle Men. Successful rescue of all 12 miners trapped in the disaster of the 5th of January, 1952. Huh. I have no idea if all these clues are gonna like fit into the overall story somehow. Kinda guessing not all of them will. I think some of them are just there to give you context about things. But that is a total guess. Hmm. We are getting pretty deep into this area now. Mike seems like he's doing alright for having no fingers and... Well, I guess we do have a gun now, so that's something. Man, he's just having like no second thoughts about diving deep into this place. Oh man. Okay, I guess we're gonna move this out of the way. Let's waste another shot. Oh no. I fucked up. Okay, well I guess Mike just blew himself up. That's awesome. And this Jigsaw fellow is totally, totally monitoring everything. Did he just lock us in here? I think we got locked in. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? Then there's some seriously uncool shit going on up here tonight. Yes, I concur. Alright, so Matt and Emily, it's been a while since we uh, had control of them. Where, uh, where are Chris and Ashley? I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but some things you have to see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Emily's kind of morbid, isn't she? I know where she's coming from with that, though. 
It's not like these kids have never played pranks on each other, right? Aha. Yikes. Okay, so I'm looking at a fall to my death. Probably want to try to avoid that. Stay away from any cliffs, chasms, holes, abysses, pits of despair. Any of the above. Paint? It's still fresh. Paint? What? Does that mean somebody's pulling a fast one? What was painted? Maybe that was just the uh, scarecrow dummy thing we found earlier. Where's... wait. Where's the axe? I want the axe. Oh, it's stuck on the door. Yes! Power! It's not a clue, it's a weapon. Oh, what now? This is locked, Matt! We'll break the door down, will ya? Whoa, wait a second. We start smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. What about... Look! What? A window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip balm through that little slot. No, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Help Emily through or smash the door. Well, on one hand, I don't think it matters if he hears us because he's watching us anyway. On the other hand, it would be kind of cool if Emily died, because she's a bitch. I don't mean that, but, uh, okay, let's just smash the door. Okay, fine. Here it goes. I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna... Shh, just do it! One... A two... And a three! I think they did too. I don't think we're supposed to come back out here. Oh man. What choice do I have but to try to jump it? I mean, I'm probably gonna. No, no, because I just saw the totem of me falling to my death. Such a mess. This place was barely in working condition before, and now. There's some heavy ass bass in the background right now. I don't like it. Die, 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 die. Very friendly. Ugh, unfollow. Ugh, unfollow, come on. Hey, there's gotta be something we can do. I'm all ears. But look at all this crap, there's gotta be something useful in here, right? I don't think there's anything useful on here. Cable car. So I guess it's telling us there is a ranger path we could take up there. No way, that's the other side of where the cable car lands. Hey, look! Fire tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh? Emily, you're making it really hard for me to want to protect you. You really, really are. 
What's that in the center? You guys see that? There's something glowing on the ground there, but I can't interact with it. Why is this thing taunting me? It's like there's supposed to be something there, but I can't do anything with it. Can't do that. What about this door? Can I axe this door open? No? I mean, shouldn't I be able to hit one of these levers or something? Here we go. I can't do anything with it. Great. No keys, no cable car. So, back to square one. <gasps> what about the fire tower on, on the map? Oh, the idea you just shot down two seconds ago? I guess it's an option. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio! Uh, I mean, we don't really have any better ideas, so sure. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. Rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. Actually, I think rule one is Emily is always a bitch. You're making it really hard to want to protect you. I'm just saying. Oh, hold up. What the hell are you trying to do? <laughs> What's cooking, good looking? Getting us out of here, Mr. Meat for Brains. Ugh. Ugh. Well, okay, that was actually a good eye. I did not see that up there. Okay, so at this part, I'm gonna have to be super, super caref Ugh. careful. Ugh. Look at this bad boy. You're coming with me, buddy. Just like magic. Come on down. We can totally get out here this way. Alright. It goes nothing. Fuck. <sighs> you alright? Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um, you should go first to protect me. That totally came out of nowhere. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. That was it? I was expecting a little more than that out of that section. Well, we're definitely not out of the woods yet. Here's another totem. Guidance totem. So that showed her giving me the flare gun. I guess that means if I get the chance, I should definitely take the flare gun. I guess. Let's try it's to remember that. What? The radio. It'll work. But okay, if it doesn't. We need a plan. Maybe we can just climb down. Climb down what? The mount. Are you serious? What's the big deal? It's, it's not like it's floating in the sky. <laughs> it might as well be. It's pitch black out. Hey, hopefully we won't have to. You think the psychopath is just going to give up and run away? No. But maybe we should find a safe spot. Hold up. Wait it out. It'll be a lot easier to figure this all out in the morning. As long as we don't hide in the lodge, that's where he expects us to go. 
That's actually somewhat smart. But if we're staying out here, then we're going to be playing right into his hands. Whatever death traps he has set up. Because he knows this area way better than we do. I don't know where Chris and Ashley went, but we never should have split up. They must have gone back to the lodge. Alright, she's going that way. I'm going this way. Maybe not. Oh, there's something on the ground there. Fortune totem. I'm not even entirely sure what those are actually for yet. Like, I guess they're... They're not just showing you stuff you should do. They're showing you like a, a possible good outcome. Or is it not something that's like guaranteed to happen, I guess? Uh, fuck, I don't know, man. Why are we coming over here? Watch where you step around here. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I'd prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Don't be snarky about it. What the fuck? I don't know what that was all about. That was like some children of the corn shit right there. Hey guys, remember Sam? It's their big league major movie star that they probably paid out the ass for, and she's had like 10 minutes screen time so far. Alright, so Tim the Toolman murderer guy is, uh, creeping around. Definitely in the mood to fuck with us, because he could have just, like, slit my throat right there and been done with it. Hold on, I thought I saw it. There's another one there at the bottom. What is that? Come on. Oh, Pete's sakes, my clothes, really? Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. Not cool at all. <laughs> Motherfucker took my clothes just to mess with me. Alright, so this is like the quintessential horror movie scene right here. You got the pretty girl in the towel, walking around the dark house, being stalked by somebody. This is probably going to end in murder. But who knows, the game might, you know, surprise me. Might do something a little different. I can say I am definitely creeped out. I don't know about you. Come on. That was like obnoxiously loud. Like there was no reason for that to be as loud as it was. <laughs> oh man. Chris. Mike, Emily. 
Emily? This is really getting out of hand, okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Cool echo effect on her voice. What the hell? I still don't understand what that balloon's for. Just like arrows on it. I wonder if he set that up to like sh show me where I'm supposed to be going. Can I have my clothes back now or am I supposed to hang out in a towel for the rest of the week? Oh dude, he was on the stairs right there. Fuck that. Towel it is then. Oh, I just barely caught that. Did you guys see that? I already got this one, didn't I? Yeah. There's probably nothing else around here for me to collect now. Something up. <laughs> and of course, all the doors are locked for the places that they don't want me to go right now. Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? You succeeded. No, I'm not trying to go down the stairs just yet. Every now and then, the controls just kind of take on a mind of their own and just push you in a direction for a few seconds. And there's not a whole lot you can do about it. Cinema room. How are you guys? Wow, this is weird. Fuck. Hey, guys, come on. Oh, I'm done with this. I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here. Samantha. Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. What is going on? Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A beautiful bathing bird. What? What Do you she... think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's Why life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Josh! That doesn't make you feel. Ah! Ah! What did you do? I'm going to give you ten seconds. Nine. That wasn't 10 Sam. seconds. Uh, we're just gonna run. Straight up. Jump. Almost fucked up the stairs. I predicted she'd fuck those up before, but it was on me. <laughs> okay, now's the time to hide, right? Put the light out, put the light out. Sam, why are you hiding? Oh, thank you. Okay, not moving, not moving. Sam, why prolong the inevitable? Whew. Fucking intense. Well, we're gonna stay. Stay for now. Why kid yourself into thinking you can get away? Don't you know I can smell you, Sam? I can smell your fear. He's still not looking this way. Oh no! Oh no! 
bat. Give me the bat. Yeah, bitch. Oh, that was awesome. Are you kidding me? No handle? Ugh. Pull. Drop it on him. That's not actually what I expected to happen there, but I'll take it. Oh god. Run faster, run faster. We ain't got time to hang out here. Oh, come on. What the fuck is this place? Why are you walking? Oh, I hate that I can't run in these sections. I'm gonna try hiding again. Okay, be quiet now. Be quiet. Oh, I think I beat him, guys. I got away from him. Yeah, yeah. Well, that certainly didn't go according to plan. Now, did it? Such careful, brilliant plotting, and yet in a crucial moment, you are foiled by your own inadequacies. I told you, everything you do has consequences. You think this mistake won't have repercussions? What you do, and what you say, causes things to change! I, I get that. Yes. Oh, the good work we did exploring the source of your fear. And you've just gone and used it for ill. Mm -hmm. Your overwhelming fear of isolation. You have turned it against these people who use it desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? What?